Oh, your girl is cleaning the entire house. Honestly, love the outfit. Very cute, very fashionable. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Gatch Life mini movie. Today's story is called Mr. Postman's Personal Package. This one has been made by Lonely Heart Club. I'm a big fan of their work by the way. We've watched a few Gacha videos on the channel from them and can I just say they are always glorious. Guys if you're excited for today's video make sure to leave a like on it and now let's get into the Gacha. What is going on here? We have a girl on a keyboard. Yes, work it. Kinda jealous. Wish I could play an instrument. Instrument. Raven, it's past seven and I haven't had my breakfast. So bring me my breakfast. And get off that stupid keyboard. It's hurting my ears. Hi there, my name is Raven. There's not much I can tell you about my life, except I'm a slave for my mother. I'm just like Cinderella in a way. Um, mum? I brought your smoothie. Is it the two cup non-dairy fat oak milk with extra strawberries that I asked for? My goodness, that was a mouthful to say. I'm surprised she's memorized that off by heart. That is her go-to Starbucks order. Honestly, if the name is that fancy, I'm not having it. I can't order it. Only the best. Go and get your brother ready for school. And I need you to walk him to school. I can't today. I'm having this really big t You're already smart. You already have a job. All I'm asking is for you to walk your little brother to school today. It's not very far. And get the mail. Whoever said life was fun, huh? If someone did, I'd smack them in the face. Where's my dad? Nobody knows for sure, but some rumors, my aunts and uncles, say he lives in a huge mansion in New York City. My mum and dad divorced eight years ago after my little brother was born. The court decided that me and my brother had to live with my mum. He moved out of our house and I never saw him again. That's all I remember. Hey Isaac, are you ready for school? My backpack is too tight. Can you loosen it? This is my brother Isaac. He's still trying to figure things out by himself. Do you have everything you need? Raven, I know that you're my big sister and everything, but you don't have to baby me anymore. I'm eight years old. I forgot the mail. Teenagers. Dude, if I'm not answering the door, then just leave the stuff. You don't have to harass me to open the door. Honestly, getting mail delivered is very stressful in my household. If I'm not down those flights of stairs within two seconds, the postman is gone. Also, it sets off all the animals in the house. So we've got the cats going through the door. And of course, the dog goes to the door. <laughs> Hi there. Sorry, ma'am. Just doing my job is all. For Raven Henson? Yes, it's my new keyboard pieces. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Postman. Raven, we're in a big hurry. So take me to school now. Come on, Sir Isaac. So this is my life. I'd clean most of the time. I'd help my brother with his homework. And my favorite part of the day, to sing and play on the keyboard. After my dad left, he left his old keyboard piano in the basement. I learned to love playing it growing up until one day a miracle happened. I'm so curious, what could this miracle possibly be? Get the mail, Raven. You again? Yes, I'm a mailman that delivers mail to your house. Gosh. He sure is cute. Anyways, I've got some letters for you. Pretty interesting ones, actually. One is from New York. That's halfway across the country. Do you have family there? Not that I'm aware of. Can I see it? Oh, yeah, right. Sorry. Anyway, I need to be on my way now. Bye. Wasn't her dad apparently in New York? Has her dad got into contact with her again? It's been years, so... I'm curious. What you're looking at? None of your business. Is it your love letter? No, ew, gross, no. Then what is it? If I read it to you, will you stop asking questions? Yes. Dear Raven and Isaac, it has been so long since I last saw you two. I miss you both very much. In fact, I want to see you both in New York City for Raven's birthday in two weeks. I bought you both two bus tickets to New York City. I hope to see you both very soon. Love, Dad. Dad? See, I knew it was gonna be the dad. It was just predictable. A letter from New York City? It just had to be. Anything in the mail for me? No, ma'am. Then what's the paper you're holding? Just my to-do list is all. Give it to me. Oh no, she's gonna see it. This is terrible. Do we think mum is gonna allow her to travel all the way to New York? I don't know. I'm gonna guess no. Yeah, mum is shook right now. Where did this come from? It came in the mail. Don't you be smart with me. I know you gave your father our address. 
I swear I didn't. Like I said, it came in the mail unexpectedly. Since the letter came, me and Isaac were wondering if we could go to dad's place in New York. How dare you ask me that question? Your father is nothing but a liar and a cheat. He left this family. He ruined my life. Aunt Jessie told me that he left you because he caught you cheating multiple times. I... Your Aunt Jessie is also a liar and I'm not talking about this with you. You're not leaving this house and that's final. Now, wait just a second. You can't keep me and Isaac from seeing our dad. Oh yeah? But what are these? Bus tickets? Oh, how sweet. Such a shame if you're not going to go. Oh! <gasps> She ripped them! That is awful. I really don't like this mum. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. I'm going out with my date tonight. I want the floors spick and span for when I get back. So, we're not going to dad's? I'm so sorry, Isaac. Oh, your girl is cleaning the entire house. Honestly, love the outfit. Very cute, very fashionable. Oh, mum is so rude. She just knocked her over. Finish the floors and clean the bathrooms and then you can do the laundry. What are you doing, Raven? I'm dusting the furniture. I meant, what are you doing with your life? You're almost 18. Oh my goodness, since when was a little brother so savage? What are you doing with your life? Wow, all I can be doing right now. The sass is just amazing. You work so hard in school, in the house. You shouldn't be living like this. This child is wiser than his own mother. Amazing. We don't have anywhere else to go. What about dad's? Our tickets were destroyed, remember? There is no way we can get to dad's house. Unless we can try and find another way. What other way? I don't know. We just have to figure it out. How? You don't know how to drive a car and our tickets are ruined. There is no other way. I am serious hoping they're not about to do a 24 hour in the mail challenge. Is the postman going to deliver the children to New York City? Surely not. I don't think you can transport humans in packages. That is pretty dangerous. I have an idea. Oh girl, it better be a good idea. Seriously, Raven? Of course, they went into the box. I knew it. I just didn't want to believe it. This is such a terrible idea. But if it works, then I'll take it back. You want us to mail ourselves to dad's place. Have you lost your brain? If mailing ourselves is the only way, then so be it. I'll be 18 in two weeks and I have a choice to leave the house. I want you to have a better future. What about you? Don't worry about me. I'm coming too. I still think this is crazy. I know it is. But I'm gonna- No, I meant bringing the keyboard along with us. Oh my gosh, they seriously brought it. How big is this box, by the way? This box has to be huge. It can fit an entire keyboard into it. And two people. I can't blame her for bringing her favorite instrument though. Look, when dad left, I know he gave me that keyboard. I just want to show him my talents. I just want him to be proud since I couldn't make mom proud. I want to make someone proud. All right, all right, I'll go. You don't have to guilt trip me anymore. Get some sleep, okay? The postman will be here tomorrow. Can the postman seriously pick up this box on his own? The next morning. Now there better be two postmen because if it's just one, I'm going to question his strength. Picking up two people and an electric keyboard. This is one big box. Will you hurry up? Hey, this box is going to the same place we're going. Dang, this is a heavy box. Hey, Hudson, can I get some help with this box? Oh, there we go. He's got his friend to pick it up. Come on, I can't lift it. You're such a weakling. No, it is seriously heavy. There's a lot of things that shouldn't be inside of that box. Okay, on a count of three, you push up. One, two, Three. Oh my goodness, the box is being shook around. They're inside of it, not knowing what's going on. All right, it's in the van. <laughs> that was a struggle. Wow, they are just getting knocked around in the back of that van. Ow! Did you hear something? Nah, I'm sure it's because you ate too many tackies and it messed with your head. We've got to get this mail to New York, remember? Come on, we still have more places to stop by. Oh, I forgot to stop by this girl's place. Girl? Relax, this girl lives where she's getting mail to. Fine, I'll go to her house. No, I'm gonna do it. I think you have some feelings for this girl. Is she at least cute? Oh, he does think she's cute. Shut up. Okay, he's rang the door, but nobody's gonna answer because Raven is in a cardboard box in the back of his van. That sounds so weird. Raven, get the mail. Raven? Raven! What happened this time? I think the girl's name is Raven. How hard did you hit your head on the way over there? Anyway, we've got a few stops to make and then you're going to 
to New York. Oh, Raven didn't answer the door to him. But at least he knows her name now. That's something. Are you okay, Isaac? Gosh, these people are worse drivers than you are. Anyway, it's gonna be a long trip, so get comfortable. And off they go, across America, all the way to New York. Do we have any food? I'm starving. We have some apples and snacks in the trunk. I'll be right back. Raven, you mean to tell me that you were going on a two-week car trip in a mail truck all the way to New York? And you forgot to bring us food? I'm sure the postmen have food somewhere in this truck. Go check around. Be quick, though. Oh, my goodness. This is terrible. Is he not going to get caught? Oh, he found a banana in a locker. Would I trust a banana out of the back of a postman's van? I'm not sure. Oh, he found a muffin as well. There's just so many different treats and desserts in the back of this van. Oh, my goodness. Boy, you are about to get caught. Hey, who let you in here? Hudson, did you bring a kid in this truck? No. Kid, where are your parents? Hey, kid, how did you get in here? What should we do with him? Throw him off the truck. Don't you dare touch my brother. Touch my brother? And I swear. You? How did you two get in here? Why are you here? Jordan, how do you know this girl? She's the girl that we were talking about. That girl? Yes, that girl. Are you two still gonna throw me off the truck? If you do, then I can't promise that you won't see daylight two seconds later. You guys can stay on the truck. Anyway, what's your name? It's Raven, and this is my little brother Isaac. I'm Jordan, and I'm Hudson. Wait, is there another person on this truck? No, it's just us. Then who's driving the truck? Ah! <laughs> Gosh, was it driving itself? That is terrible. Oh great, now they've crashed the truck. Hey, it's not my fault you guys distracted me because I was curious. You're the driver, dummy. Okay, how can I repay you guys so that you don't sue me? Buy us all snacks at the next gas station. The tire looks busted. We ain't going nowhere if we don't get this fixed. Anyone here know how to change a tire? I do. I'll have it fixed in an hour. Sweet. We'll leave it up to you. This girl is intelligent. I own a car and I've owned one for many years now and I don't know how to change a tire. Don't think I ever will either. But yeah, here is a school student changing a male van's tire at the side of the road. Talent. I have first aid. All of these guys have been in a serious car crash. I feel like they should be heading to the nearest hospital, not to the nearest gas station. Thanks for the bandages on my face. See ya. Where did you learn how to change tires? I mean, girls don't change tires. That's sexist. I mean, I've never seen a girl change a tire before. I mean, just stop talking and hand me the wrench. So, where did you learn how to change car tires? I change my mum's car tires every month. Every month? That is a lot. What the heck? Why is mum wearing the tires out so quick? What is she doing? Why are you traveling in a mail truck instead of on a bus or a plane? Does your mother know? No. Oh, did you run away? Yeah, babe. Basically, we're going somewhere better. I know it's none of my business, but why did you run away? I'm gonna tell you so you can stop asking questions. She explains everything. Wow, I'm so sorry that you had to go through that. I'm doing this for Isaac. He deserves to be loved. He deserves a normal childhood, like any other kid. I love my brother, and I want what's best for him. You're brave to do that. Anyway, I have to finish up the tires. Oh, right, I'm sorry. Hey, I hope you find what you're looking for, Raven. Thanks. And they're on the road again. Yes, Raven. Okay, three days later, and I have no idea what is going on. You're so good. Where did you learn to play? My dad taught me when I was seven. I've kind of been good at it ever since. Can I try? I love instruments. Sure. Oh my gosh, I'm actually so terrible. It's all right, you just need practice. I'm more of a keyboard girl. Keyboard is in a piano? Yeah. Aw, oh, I wish you could play. It sucks that we don't have one. I brought mine with me. I can get it out if you want. I'd like that. And there we go, she's got out the keyboard. How long have you played? Since my dad moved out of our house, which was about 12 years ago, I found it in my basement the day after he moved out. Did he give it to you? There was no note to prove it was from him, but... But I know it was. Did you? Jordan, do you want me to play or not? Right. Sorry. Just concentrate. Oh, yes, girl. Amazing. The talent. Look how shook he is. He can't believe it. She's a genius. Not only can your girl change a tire on a mail van, but she can play keyboard like a warrior. I don't think warriors can play keyboards, but it was meant to be a compliment. Oh, my goodness. This is her as a kid. That was amazing, Raven. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, mom. That's all she ever wanted. Her mom to be proud of her. Whoa. You've got some talent there. 
You'd have to thank your father for that keyboard. I... I don't think my dad gave me this keyboard. What do you... Oh my gosh, what is going on? They've been thrown about. They're on the ground. Keyboard's gone flying. Don't know where it is. Hudson, what the heck? Oops. Five days later. Hey, Hudson. Yeah? Can I drive the truck? Absolutely not. Come on, I've never driven before. That makes a huge excuse for not letting you drive. Can you teach me how to drive? Gosh, you're so annoying. Have Jordan teach you to drive. I'm done with you. Girl, what is that face? That is something. Did someone call my name? Teach her to drive. You've got to come to the driver's seat if you want to drive. Right, what is going on? Why are they giving her a driving lesson now? This is not what she needs. She just needs to go to New York. Just keep going straight and push your foot on the go pedal. Too fast, too fast. Okay, you wanna turn on your blinker to let other cars know that you're turning. Ooh, what's this joystick thingy? No, that's the- Oh, wow. The mail van has been through it all in the past few days. We're about to have another crash. I got you. Oh wow, they're real close though. This is very cliche, isn't it? Very. How old did you say you were? Um, I'm 20. 20? I'm kidding, I'm 19. This is the part where you drive the truck now. I don't know what they were expecting. She was learning to drive for the first time and she was just let wild at the van. Like, of course she's going to crash. She's never driven before. And you're not a driving instructor. Um, I still wanna learn how to drive. Yeah, like I'm gonna let that happen again. Please, I'm almost 18 and I don't know how to drive. How sad is that? Fine. You have my pity vote. Now listen and learn, okay? Don't just do whatever you wanna do. Right, lesson one. Oh, well, he is a real driving instructor now. Look at him go. He can even sit on the other seat without worrying about losing his life. Been almost five hours and I haven't hit into a car once. I think I know how to drive. Great, well, I'm just gonna go to sleep since it's almost 11 p.m. No, I need someone to talk to while I drive. Pull over and stop for the night. It's already late. Hey. Jordan, what is it? Was being a postman your dream job? Well, not exactly my dream job. I do it to make money for my family. They have a hard time keeping up with their debts. That's why I can't go to college anytime soon. Why do you think your mother was so harsh to you? I don't know, to be honest. But it doesn't matter. We're going to a better place now. Hopefully my dad's place was the right choice. What are we gonna do after this trip is over? You ask a lot of questions. I'm serious. What are we gonna do? In four days, we'll be in New York. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, bless them. They're both falling asleep. Okay, a few days later. Can't believe we're gonna be in New York today. I'm finally going to see my dad. Happy birthday. Oh, right. I forgot about my birthday. That's the least I should be focused on right now. Today, I'm meeting my dad for the first time in 12 years. Hey. Well, I got something for you. Thanks. I love it. It was no problem. Raven. Yeah? I just wanted to tell you. I hope you have a nice life in New York. Oh, thanks, I guess. What the heck was that, Jordan? Have a nice life? Well, that was smooth. Dude, you're such a wimp. Why don't you just tell her? I mean, after today, you're never gonna see her again. I haven't seen this happy side of you for a while. Five years being your partner, and this is the best that you've been. I believe in you. We'll be in New York at around 4 p.m. And it's her birthday. So, does that give you a hint? Exactly. Wait, who's driving the truck? Relax, Isaac is driving. Isaac? Yeah, I taught him how to drive. The kid's a pro. Giddy up, this truck got a ride to catch. Oh no, why did they teach the child how to drive the van? I am lost for words. That is a just a terrible idea. But you didn't want to teach Raven how to drive. Why are you? Oh, I wonder why you're so dumb sometimes. He wanted you to teach Raven so that you could be closer. And it worked. He's a genius. I appreciate that. Happy birthday, Raven. I don't have a birthday present for you. I'm so sorry. You're my best gift, Isaac. I love you so much. So when are you gonna confess? Confess to who? To Jordan, of course. Isaac, I don't like him like that. Wake up, woman. He's never gonna confess to you because he's a wimp. Gosh, women are so confusing. Don't you get it? I'm friend zoned. Fine, be like that then. Just so you know, you're never gonna 
gonna see your fellow mailman again. So it's today or never. Oh, what the heck? There's always something going on with the van. It's just crashed again. Great, the tire is broken again. Raven, do your thing. Seriously, again? We'll never get to my dad's house in time. The good thing is that we're in New York. I guess the tire would probably be done by tomorrow morning. Oh, she's back repairing it herself. Where did Isaac and Hudson go? So, how did you do it? It was sharp enough to pop a tire, surprisingly. Fixed. Was it seriously another setup so that they'd have a longer period of time together and that maybe one of them would finally confess their love. I think it was. So, now what? Hey, look over here. Come on, follow me. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty out here. I love the lights and the buildings. What would you do first when you meet your dad? Probably play him my keyboard. I won't be seeing you much longer, will I? I mean, I'm just a postman. I'll be in New York and you'll be back in California, so I hope you write to me sometime. Yeah, we could be pen pals. Yeah, oh, this is awkward, isn't it? Very awkward. Please don't go. I like you and I want to be with you. Just stay with me, please. I can't. We are two different people. I'm just a kid and you're just a postman I met coincidentally. This would never work out. I'm staying in New York for a new life and you'll be back in Los Angeles. I'm sorry, but this is how it has to be. You're right, this wouldn't work. I'm sorry. Well, I guess I should go tell Hudson that the truck is done. No, I want one more night to spend time with you guys. This is the last time that we're going to be seeing each each other. It's getting late. We should go to sleep now. I'll meet you inside. The vibes are just off now. Everything's so awkward. She rejected him. I can't believe she did that. Off he goes. Very awkward. Raven? Raven? Raven! I love how she's just got a bed in the back of the truck now, like a full-sized bed. Where did they get that from? Get dressed. We'll be there soon. Where? To dad, silly. We'll be there in 10 minutes. It's actually happening. They're about to arrive. Sorry about that. No worries. We'll be at your dad's house in five minutes. I just wanted to tell you that it's raining and it's gonna be cold outside. I just realized I didn't bring a coat. Oh, he gave her his. He's so sweet, I love him. We're here. Come on, I'll walk you out. Oh, they're saying goodbye. This is so sad. They're never gonna see each other again. Now he's heartbroken. Wow, look at dad's house. Hello. He lives in a huge mansion. Are you ready? No. Do you want me to not? No, I'm gonna go back. You're coming too. Come on, before they leave. Girl, seriously, you got all the way to New York and now you're turning back. Jordan, Hudson. Wait for us! What in the world is happening here? You're both under arrest for the kidnapping of two children. And that is where the story has ended. On one of the world's biggest cliffhangers. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to watch another one of mine, you can click here and let's go watch it together.